हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्लाउड डेवलपर ए कंप्लीट स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड टू योर सेल्स फोर्स लर्निंग इफ यू आर विजिटिंग आवर चैनल फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट द लेटेस्ट वीडियोस लेट्स स्टार्ट हे हाय फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ए डेमो हाउ टू सेट अप अकाउंट एंड कांटेक्ट इन योर सेल्स फोर्स ऑर्ग एंड हाउ अकाउंट एंड कांटेक्ट्स आर related and also we will see a demo on how we can set up a contacts which will be linked to multiple accounts okay let's try to understand what is account so basically account is nothing is the organization with which we are supposed to do business with that means let's say we wanted to sell some uh, some kind of you can say laptops to google so on that case google is our account so let's set up a account for google so we can set up a account number if you want if you want you can set up a website and let's say this is one of my hot account and any other information you wanted to put uh, like uh, Uh, whether it is a prospect account or any very any kind of industry you wanted to specify for example let me see uh is there a technology yes this is a technology related organization so any other information you wanted to enter you can enter i am just leaving it like that blank because my intention here to how to set up account you can fill up all the fields and explore all the fields why it is used and all those things okay now my account is set up the next thing what i am supposed to do is i am supposed to add contacts to this account so you can ask me why account is needed a contact because when you do business with a particular organization you need few point of contact from from that organization to whom you wanted to talk to when it is needed for a business purpose so here i am going to set up one contact let's say uh, i am saying mr mark jojo okay and if you wanted to set up a mobile number you can set up that as well and while setting a contact you probably also uh, set up a email id i am saying mark.jojo at the right gmail.com okay so other things i am just leaving it like that blank and you can see that account is already selected because from the account phase i try to create the contact so account got auto populated so i can save that let's say i wanted to create one more contact as well okay so this time i'll say Gina Kakar Okay So let's say I'm putting some random mobile number and the email ID what I'm putting is gina dot kakar at gmail dot com Okay So what you understood from here is the account and contact are in a parent child relationship that means one account can have multiple contacts that is what intention to show you here but when we are dealing or when we are doing a business with a particular organization we are setting up a account this is called business to business scenario let's say we are doing b to c business business to consumer directly your consumer is the account that means the individual is the account okay on that case you can enable personal account in your org maybe probably in your org it is not by default enabled you need to take the help of self host to enable it there is one more scenario we are going to discuss which is like let's assume that one contact is working for multiple organization in a part time 
for example one consultant is working uh, four hours for one organization and another four hour for another organization that means for in our case just take an example that uh, you know uh, uh, let's say chris chris is working for google for four hours and Salesforce for another four hours that means this one single contact need to be associated with two different account that is also possible so how to make that this is by default not enabled so what you have to do is you have to go to setup then from the setup you click on account settings here is account settings okay click on account settings here is the settings which is strongly needed okay so personal account is here you if you wanted to enable personal account you can enable here okay and other things is like allow user to relate to contact to multiple accounts okay so here you see when you are setting up personal account where you, when you are enabling personal account there is a warning okay that means here it is saying to use person account your org must meet the following requirement there are some requirements you check with your org and then after you know consulting uh, with your tech arc and all you enabled it okay don't directly enable it i don't recommend that so that's why i just enable that only for uh, let's say click on edit okay then i just simply enable this contact to multiple accounts and what it is saying before enabling contact to multiple account verify that mass transfer and reassign operation are not running in my org nothing is running right now so i can just click on save so when you click on save what will happen is it may take some time to do as well now if you will go to your account what you will see here you know there is a related list we have to add or simply go to object manager first of all i wanted to show you the object manager that there is a new object created okay so simply go here to object manager in the object manager you just type here contact okay so you see here there is a additional object created account contact relationship so just click on that you can set up if you wanted to set up any page layout for this and field relationship for this okay so basically this is a junction object kind of thing you can assume between your account and contact so that you can link one contact with multiple account okay let's leave it like that what we'll do is we'll go to account page because now you can see the contact related list is added we have to add that new related list okay the new object which is there so what we'll do is we just need to go to edit object okay then there is a uh, page layout option here so go to page layout as we are working with account just click on account page layout so what we are supposed to do is here just go to related list from the related list you just check where is the related contacts you see there is a new pick list option here related contacts just drag that and put it here so as we are using related contacts so we don't need this contact at all okay so we we can keep it or we can remove it okay so for my case i'm just removing it so you can keep it also like that if you want okay just click on save once you click on save your related list is added right so now let's say uh, refresh this face it may not refresh properly we may use the logout and login option again if it will not so you see here related contacts are coming right so now you see i just wanted to show you one thing this mark jojo is already added to google so we are not going to do anything here what we are supposed to do we wanted to link this mark jojo somehow in a other account right let's go back to account tab and this time select Salesforce. okay now you see here there is one contact but this is not mark jojo okay something else okay in the self now i wanted to click add contact okay in this thing what i'll do is so you have to click on add relationship so you don't have to create new contact if you'll create new contact it will create a direct contact but in this case what you wanted you wanted to link a contact right 
so you just select the account and from the contact here you can see mark jojo okay and while you are doing that you can also select for example what type of role this contact is let's say a business user or a decision maker or an economic buyer or what okay or an influencer or a technical buyer okay in this case let's assume i'm just selecting technical buyer okay you can add multiple roles then click on save okay you see now this contact is associated this mark jojo contact okay is associated here as well as this mark jojo contact is also associated there where google account okay you can see this mark jojo is also associated here okay one more thing what we are supposed to do for today is just go to in the contact view i wanted to see how many accounts are related so what i am supposed to do is i am going to edit this page layout as well that means contact page layout so let it load in between we can go to page layout contact layout okay and here what we'll do is in the related list okay what we'll do is we'll add related accounts you see here okay okay i added it here okay let's save it now while doing that you just refresh this page and see what what reflected here okay in the contact i wanted to see this mark jojo is now related to google as well as selfos but one additional thing you mark here this direct this direct is what because if you remember first we added this contact to google okay and that's why it become a direct contact for google okay now after that i mean one contact can be associated with multiple account but one thing to remember is like you know it may be direct for only one account okay and for other account it may be indirect okay that is what is the thing so that means when we added it to google it by default become direct and when we added it to self by default become indirect let's say i am going to add one more account okay in this case i am going to add amazon amazon and this amazon i say let's say aws one two three okay and i don't want any other things i also wanted to mark this as a hot company for me and i'll save it okay let's say for amazon also we wanted to add the same contact so whether we'll click on new contact or add relationship we'll click add relationship okay so when you click add relationship you see here we can still select mark jojo okay mark jojo okay i in this case i am saying a decision maker okay role and save this now this mark jojo is added to how many accounts three accounts directly with google indirectly with selfos and indirectly with amazon okay let's go ahead and see so you will see here what we are expecting is happened correctly it is directly for google the direct check marks is added and for amazon and for selfos in a particular role but for the direct account we have not added any role. i hope you okay. would have understood that how it is working and that how the relationship are established and if you would have not seen that how to set up a developer org and explore these features just watch out my previous video i will also add that uh, that episode in the description box you can check that how to set up your developer org and start learning selfos in this tutorial series what i am trying to do is i am trying to make you learn step by step process how you can learn selfos without even taking any instructor help or any other additional materials that's all for today thanks for watching any other things you can drop a comment in the comment box i'll try to reply you on that and 
सी यू इन नेक्स्ट एपिसोड बाय बाय